What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we are checking out an incredible castle build that was sent to us by Time Architect, a member of the Zetacraft server. This build is just one of the many super cool builds on this server. Uh, there are a bunch of members on the server and we'll actually be doing a video very soon that covers the entire server and some of the builds on it. I highly recommend you go and check out Time Architect's channel which will be linked down in the description below and you can find any of the other Zetacraft members in Time Architect's descriptions in his Zetacraft videos. Also, I'm super happy to announce that we have finally made a Discord for the Minecraft Hub channel. The link for it is down in the description below, so go ahead and join and check it all out. You can submit your builds there, show off other builds, and so much more, so go ahead and join our Discord down below. Now let's go ahead and check out this castle build. So this is actually a multi-phase build and just this entire castle that he built right here floating above uh, the other areas is actually just phase one. Phase two is going to be the terraforming part of it, making it so it's not actually a floating castle in the sky, but it's actually connected to the ground down below and looks super nice. So far, I actually think this castle is super incredible. You can see all the different types of stone, andesite, uh, cobblestone, everything that he's putting into the walls of this. The roofs are made mostly from granite. There's some bricks thrown in there, things like that. A lot of detail went into this. He even added in some detailer blocks like lodestones, which he actually found to be pretty expensive since they have a shopping system on the server, similar to like Hermitcraft, and these lodestones ended up costing him 20 diamonds a piece, and he put five of them in, which is 100 diamonds. I believe phase three is when he's gonna start working on trying to earn some diamonds back from this entire build, so it should be very interesting to see exactly what he does with that plan. This castle is absolutely massive though and definitely took him a long time to build, so definitely go and check out his channel and give him some love for this project. He's hoping to hit 500 subscribers by the end of February, so hopefully we can help him out with that goal. He's currently sitting at 257 subscribers, so I'm really excited to see what you guys can boost him up to after this video. So after getting this castle all the way built up, he actually gave a little tour of it with shaders. There's still a lot to be done. As I said, this was only phase one of the actual build and there is much more to come on it, but this build is already massive. This build is just as big or if not bigger as some of the builds you'll even see over on Hermitcraft or things like that. It is huge and it is called the Everglow Castle because he actually put a lot of the glow lichen around the castle and it stands out very nicely. This little tour that he gave was with the BSL shaders which is a great shader pack, looks super nice and makes your game just look a little bit better which is always great. And now that we're down inside the castle walls and walking around, you can actually see a lot of the detailing that he did. These pathways, super detailed, including uh, moss, rooted dirt, deep slate, and so much more. The walls have a ton of detail as well. Of course, uh, there's all the mossy cobblestone, things like that, but he added in buttons, glow lichen, uh, different cut stones and things to add a lot of detail and feature to this build, which I think makes it look really, really nice. I am really excited to see the terraforming project that he does for phase two that is going to go underneath this castle and connect it up to the ground. It's going to be really interesting to see how he actually goes about terraforming that. I can tell from the pathways alone that he is pretty detail oriented and wants to make these builds look very, very nice. So I'm really excited to see how he goes about terraforming that bottom section. Not only the terraforming, but he's still got a few surprises that he wants to work on on the inside of this castle, one of which is next to the base of this tall tower over here, I believe, and the other is on the other side of the wall that's currently behind us, and it's through a set of iron doors, and he's going to work on that later, also a surprise, and the fourth phase of this project, so I'm expecting it to be something pretty big or pretty awesome uh, that goes along with this castle. So of course the interior of the castle is still pretty plain, he just got this entire thing built up, but there is a lot that he wants to do on the inside, most of which he is leaving up for surprise, so we're definitely going to have to stay tuned to his channel to see that later on. Definitely excited for it because this castle is already incredible and I really want to see what he goes and puts on in the inside. 
that is pretty much all that we have for today though guys thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video be sure to drop a like on it and if you're new to our channel hit that subscribe button as well we do a ton of different minecraft content and if you even have a build of your own that you want to submit you can either email it to us or you can go and join our brand new discord that i just told you about at the beginning of the video where we have a build submissions channel and you can go ahead and send it in there and then we will make a video about it also, be sure to go and check out Time Architect's channel, which will be linked down in the description below as well, and all the other ZetaCraft members. This server is really cool and is definitely one to be watching in the near future. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.